You're listening to Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. Marcus and Jessica Trufant, what's up? How you guys doing? I'm here. Yeah, what's good, bro? We are well. <laughs> We're doing okay. I'll speak for us. Today's episode is going to be pretty funny. To me, it's going to be funny because oh, of the question that we got from this email from a listener. It's so good. Like, I'm just ready to read it. Are you guys ready? We are ready. All right. This is how I know it's going to be spicy this evening, just based off of the uh, the first line of this. Should I tell the guy I've been dating for six months, who's also my coworker, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, that I used to be an escort? Ooh! ooh. Nice. I'm- nice. Okay. Well... That's a should I tell him? Yes. Let, let's here's here's the uh, here's the scoop, Jess. <laughs> is this a male or a female? This is a female wanting to tell a male that she used to do something strange for some change. Which you know, a lot of people do strange things. For they just change, don't have the title, but they're, they're escorts. Not, they uh, are definitely uh, escorts. They're just not. But even people do strange things for change without being an escort. But that's what I'm saying. They just don't have the title. They are working right. the same hustle, working the same they're game. They're hustling in a different way. In order for you to see the poom poom, you got to cash app. You got to get me a bag, et cetera, et cetera. So that's escorting in my uh Right. There's a bad, there's such a bad connotation with, you know, she's an escort, but do you know how many people are getting money just from just being it's a job. assholes and just, yeah. I'm Anyways. not mad at her. It's a job. And if she's uh, working now and doing a thing, but let's get into the, okay, yeah, I know. to the meat. We were just getting rid of like, and yeah, potatoes you guys are yeah. about to just we were about to dive right in. Now. Right. Yeah. She goes, I have a dark secret that nearly no one knows. Well, until now. I am a former escort. I've been dating my coworker, let's call him James, for about six months. And I'm falling and I'm falling in love and I wanna be honest about my <laughs> What, James? That's what she wants right. to call him. Uh, she right. wants to be honest about her past, but she's terrified of ending the first healthy relationship that she's had in years. She goes, if this confession ruins us, it's most likely she's gonna have to find a new job because they work really closely together. Then she gave some backstory about her escorting, which she goes, I started escorting when I was 20. I was dating a man who was 17 years older than me, and he taught me the business. I stopped working regularly after our relationship ended almost two years. So you mean to tell me this nigga turned your ass out and was pimping Pimpin'. your motherfucking ass. Pimpin'. And then when you got away from pimping, you ended, you stopped doing what you was doing because you wasn't with pimping no more. She could have said that, but whatever. But she continued seeing a single customer once a month up until COVID, the COVID lockdown. She's waited to tell him because only one other person knows this about her, I guess. And she doesn't want this information to get back to her family as it would hurt them. And, but she does respect him and she feels like it's his call if he wants to continue seeing her, knowing her past. Should I tell him? And if so, how? Ooh, this is kind of... Spicy, is that our word of the day? It's, spicy? It's or is spicy. it juicy? Is it juicy or is it spicy? It's juicy and spicy. Um, I don't know. It can go one of two ways. She can be up front with him and it kind of, it is what it is. If he likes you, he will continue to pursue you. That happened in your past. People grow, people change. Or... You can just withhold that. You can hold on to that little piece of information until you guys are well established or perhaps married. Or until it comes out. And then just in the slowly streets. kind of just just bring that out. Just kind of just, oh, by the way, type shit. And once you've been in a relationship for a long time, like what if I told you that now in our relationship that I used to be an escort. Uh, like, would you really be like, oh, bitch, that's a deal breaker? No. You m- love me. <laughs> it depends on what day it is and what type of uh, conversations we've had. He's but He'd be like, for you okay, to, to be I love like, you anyway. there's a lot of deceit there and there's a lot of. 
No, it's not it's just fake. Me. It wasn't it. your story. I don't have to. You don't have to share. You don't. You don't have that to divulge fair. anything. That's, that's fair. With anyone, especially if you're not currently doing that, if you're not that person anymore, and but especially you, if you're ashamed of it. But what you do have to do is own up to that. Once you tell somebody that, it's out of your control, and right. So and either you have she to can deal with what the person right is going to say. So, right. like I was saying, I would have to process that, right? And five years, 10 years, 15 years, do I really know you, right? If you're going to withhold something that, that. Well, what's the difference between being an escort and being a hoe? You get paid for escorting, which I think might be better. So it's Actually, like just okay, a hoe, what just if a hoe your, is a your significant the, other was just out there backwards. in the streets doing the goddamn thing, and they don't tell you right away. So what's the di- there's just a weird title with it. There is she's an escort. There is. So it's kind of like mm, okay, it's maturity, was, but us men she was getting her paper. Us men aren't very mature, right? So sometimes it's like, oh, you was an escort. Boom, 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 boom. I know the homie is going to be on my head. and um, You don't I'm, have to tell the homie. I know, but if they know, it depends on where she was escorting. If she was escorting around the city. you would know? Like, you never oh, know. By the way, but I'm saying if something comes out, that's Teresa a bad. used to be on the, I don't that's know. That's a how bad look. So escort, it would be but. better to get ahead of the situation just like, um. Just like we've watched on these shows, what is it, Olivia Pope and those guys, they okay, get ahead of this kind of right? stuff. You, no, but I'm just saying, in politics and everything, you get ahead of stuff. So when it comes and out, you also kill people in life. I know, but it's already up, diffused, yeah. and you can have this plan of attack together instead of being blindsided. Like, oh damn, uh, I was just at the bar and Christopher saw a picture of you on my phone, and he was like, oh, I think I seen We're her somewhere. About per- that. that's, that's I know, totally but I'm not. But that is a part of escorting, right? Well, if Oh, that's your wife? Oh, man, I think I might have seen her somewhere before. I can't really put my finger on it right now. Oh, the girl that we... If you are grown and mature, had at the there the is no party way. And we had her flipping... There is no way flipping. you should do that to that woman. What? <laughs> you should not out her like that. You know she was an escort. You know what the job... You don't go, oh, by the way... Oh, yeah, she used to be my prostitute. The homies sometimes don't have no coof, so that's what I'm saying. You got to control what you can control in your circle. So my advice is it's in her best interest to break it to them however like she softly, sees fit. Like, maybe. Maybe. Give him a chance to get to know her for who she is right now before she brings that up. And they're doing good, Kale. This sounds like this is a relationship that's going in the right direction. They're doing the right thing. Right. Things are going well. So Unless she's flaming and has like herpes or something that is probably like a right now kind of tell. I mean. All escorts don't have herpes. I'll be the first one to say I didn't that. Say and we that. don't want all the escorts out there to think that and we're saying I'm that they saying have herpes. I'm just saying in general, those are like urgent matters that you probably should tell somebody sooner than later. You don't have to be an escort to get herpes. You're taking my words out of like context. Context. That's not what I'm saying. I'm I'm just comparing Olivia Pope style to that. I changed your narrative. There are some things that you need to say right away, or you should say right away. I mean, you keep that a secret as well. Okay. Anyways, but um, something like that, something that probably you hold a lot of guilt, a lot of shame. Maybe she's not ready to tell him. Maybe it's not the right time to tell him. When is the right time? You got to rip the Band-Aid off. And let's be fair Maybe to the guy, never too. never a right time. Let's be fair to the guy. He deserves to know about his lady, right? And what he's getting into. But what does that mean? That was in her past. What, what does that mean? I did a lot of shit in my past. I'm so not I. my past. Exactly. If we're going to... If we're going to rethink some shit. But we communicated about it in most situations, whether it was one year, whether it was two years, or maybe you still got some stones that are on. uh, Unturned. Unturned. Is that the right? Yeah. Yeah. So. But I'm just saying, though, he deserves to know if it's something that it could affect both of them. How can your past like that, even though it might 
it might have some type of psychological effect on her, right? That maybe one day she does have to come out and tell him because of the, the effect that it has on her mental health. If that's even a thing, maybe she does not give a fuck about that. And she's just nervous to tell him because she really likes him. But it's just kind of like, yeah, lost my train of thought. What I'm saying but is I'm there, though. they should be on a united front. I'm not one of these guys. But they one, haven't been dating long enough to be on a united front. Well, they need to. People hear yeah. the word escort and prostitute. She potentially could lose her job. He's associated with her. So they can, why even more of a reason it why? It can come out. Anything. That's what I'm saying. It How doesn't, can it come out? I don't know, Jess. Things happen, things come out. But if they're united, they have an understanding and they You're have You're trying a, to like end her life. Though. No, I'm not. I'm saying- If it comes out, no, she's about to lose her dude, I'm her job. I'm saying that they need to work kids. together. So if he wants to continue to rock with her, at least they're on the same page. So if something does happen to come out, okay- this is what you're uh, Olivia Poping. That's Susie. Okay, that is working in accounting. Used to do. Or we don't know if our brand could um, handle that. So we're gonna have to have. Do this we know meeting. what kind of job we're this person to HR has? HR and all this kind of stuff. Marcus right? is really making it seem. I'm like making a whole movie. I might need to like write this down. Okay, I think I got a script. I I think I got the script. Well, she said herself, if she breaks up or tells this dude and it doesn't go well that since they work so close together that she's probably going to have to find a new job fast. Well, that's because it'll be uncomfortable as fuck, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Not because it's going to come out and people are going to be like, oh, you were an escort. You've got to go. You never know what comes out. And that was her personal past, right? How are you going to fire somebody for being people an escort People do things for past? worse, though. I'm not saying it's right. Yeah, I'm not saying it's right. Of, remember, this is, if they're, if this email is from the state of washington if they live in washington washington is a what is it called a no uh, a no fault a state. no escort state no a no fault <laughs> state so your employer doesn't have to have a reason to fire you mm. so if they just woke up one morning is like ah we don't want them on our staff anymore they can do that they don't have to have give you a reason why and we found out that Susie was tooting man on the weekend <laughs> yeah man that could be well, bad there's always um redemption and there is i totally agree i agree and i agree i mean if her escorting was in the past but now if she just stopped escorting like six months ago um what's the difference there is a difference is there really a difference stopping it what's the difference that's it's still in you (laughs) Literally. Hey, look, it's still somewhat fresh because she said that she stopped seeing her single client Ooh. up until the lockdown. And that was what, two years ago? Single clients or new clients? Three years ago. So she had an ago. epiphany and she's like, God, COVID escorting isn't that hot now. So let me go get me a real job. And now she has her real dude. I can appreciate the hustle. So I can't be too <clears throat> mad at it in the eight. We haven't even thought about this, though, guys. What if she's doing all this and she's scared to tell this guy and she's nervous and then she ends up telling him and he ends up being like into it? Like, what if she finds out this dude's like a fucking cuck and it's like, oh, yeah, like you get paid. You used to get paid to get smashed by other dudes. I would love to fucking watch. Like, what if he's a fucking one of those voyeur cuckold motherfuckers that's like into that shit? Uh, then she either steps into the light <laughs> or exits <laughs> stage left. I don't know. But again, that goes back to my point, Kale, about being on the same page, about being aligned. After she says this, okay, maybe this is a positive. This is their side hustle now, and this is what they get to do. And um, it, what? It's it, it kind of like an Airbnb of uh, sorts, but of Damn your it. female. And air fucking be- I'm done with you organs okay so i okay you're fired airbnb of the body does the that airbnb not, of the organ and what you the? rent it out did you you rent out your body for a certain amount of time you sign the paperwork that's oh my god pretty All much right, Marcus, what Marcus, prostitution right, I gotta, am i reaching Marcus, am I, I gotta talk you off the ledge bro I got to talk you off the ledge i, I had it my bad y'all the I apologize, airbnb but, of, oh my god. but again <laughs> Give the man a chance to be like, okay, I like it or I don't, or I could deal with it. Let's work through it. Let's talk through it and let's get. Right. It kind of, it really, I don't know. Maybe it is what it is. You say it now, if it's meant to be, 
you guys will still stay together. If you say it five years from now, if it was meant to be, you guys will still be together. I don't know. Honestly, um, she's better off saying it now than five years later. If why, I'm Kale? in his, if I'm why? in his, because like you've been, hel- you've held that for me from for five, ten years. What I else was are ashamed. you keeping for me? And it was, was before ashamed. him. It was well, before you were, him. You were, so. you were, you were. So you've been ashamed for the last ten years, five to ten years Maybe. that I've known you, and yeah. we've known each other that well that you still were ashamed to tell me that. Then that that that. That can that could that can fuck with someone's trust issues because it's like if we like each other, I need we need and we're getting still getting because by five ten years you've already gotten to know somebody right so like so like holding at holding out till way way down the line I'm gonna start questioning in this five to ten years what else have you kept from me what else are you not telling me mm, if, yes. if you tell me if you tell me within. Uh, during the getting to know stage, then it's like, okay, cool. There ain't no skeletons in the closet. I can accept it or I don't accept it. But five, 10 years later, it's like, hold on. Now I'm hurt even more because you didn't tell me you've been holding this from me and I really, really like you. But now I'm at this weird crossroads because you've been holding, keeping shit from me for so fucking long. Now I don't know what to think. Was all of this bullshit from the start? Was this a front so we can get to this point and be com- get comfortable? I can get comfortable and get to this point with you? I don't know. But like, I'd rather know now than later. Just Why saying. would you rather know? You've only known her for six months. Why would you exactly? Because you, then at that point, the so ball is in my court. So you can make an informed court. decision. <laughs> well, no, because that's the thing; it makes it less complicated, Jess. Because then it makes it well. Okay, balls in your court. We haven't gone too far yet. Do you want to do this or do you not want to do this? Well, what about the what girl? Saying? I like this person. I am scared to death to tell this person this. I like. This I want to give him a chance to know me. Sometimes you got to be selfish. Aside from the, uh, sometimes you got to be selfish. Blurp on my past, the the skid mark on my past. I want Fuck. people to uh, know me outside of that, right? Sometimes you have to be selfish, and like you said, it hasn't been that long. And so to tell somebody, by the way, I was an escort last year. Uh, I just recently stopped. I would be like, which is true though. That's your truth, right? So I can understand both sides. But you have to understand maybe where this person is coming from. They might literally be trying to bury that shit, block that shit. They that's pro. It could be. This is. I don't even know. Um, maybe she's proud of what she did in the past and just doesn't, you know, is not sure when to bring it out. But but you got to find somebody that rocks with that. If you wait too long. And you got somebody. How many people you know that are like, oh, okay, cool. You never know, though, but that's her cross to bear. That's her past, and that's her situation. But so what knew. if she is just just dead inside for her what bad. she did in the past and wants to move so far away from it? You got to find somebody that's with you on that, and you got to give somebody the opportunity to know Maybe that. he is with her on that, but he's with her. Maybe it is best it that takes she a while. waits. Soften yeah. the fucking blow. You see who I, I think, am. I you see I my character. That, I don't think that softens the blow because what is something that we talk about on this podcast time and time and time again, right, is building trust, right, and 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 having a conversation with somebody and clearing the air and, like, I don't know. When you hold something from somebody for that long, granted, yes, you might have your own internal issues that that deal with it, that, that come with it. But like, if you want, you're you're not, you're not gaining someone's trust when you keep something from them for five, 10 years, you're not built. You're not going to gain trust like that. You're only going to lose lose a little. Oh, you you might lose a little, but in the five to 10 years, have I given you any reason not to trust me? This is something that I was not. Because now I feel like you live this double life that you never told me about. Double life. I'm, she's not still doing, doing the do. But But what it is though. You're old. You didn't tell me about your old ass double life. Like what it is. It, it brings in, um, doubt and your mind starts to wonder. And it, doesn't matter. You could put the shoe on the other foot and it could be a guy that has this deep, dark secret. 
And your mind is going to wonder and you trust this person and you've built this life with this person for 10 right. to 15 years, but go to therapy. You have this thing now that's in the back of your mind that you can't get out of your head. Right. Yeah. And so, and that could break, that could, break that's it. what I'm saying. But it's, so I don't think there is a right way to do it. I guess now that I'm thinking about it and you could do it out the gate and it's always going to be there or you could wait a 10 to 15 years and hope that the life you've built together could Right. Withstand this um, haymaker that you're throwing into haymaker. the relationship. But <laughs> you never really know. So I think it's a coin flip. It's tough. But in a perfect world or in my perfect world, I think you do it early and you see if this person is down they with you. They can handle it. Cause and see. you get through that. And right. that's the, the best way to do it. Right. I think. I got a better. I got. A, I got another way. I got another way. I got. I got. A, I got a right in the middle, guys. What if she hints at like, "Hey, I've had some severe trauma in my life of some things and decisions that I've made that I'm still trying to cope and deal with, and I want to tell you about it because I one do want to share. One day, I want to tell you about this when I'm ready to tell you. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I'm just not ready to tell you yet because I'm still, like, coping with it and, like, mm -hmm. trying to, like, f get through it myself. But one day I want to share this with you. Can't me. do that. You can't do that? No, I'd be like, yeah, there was something that went on. I want to tell you. I can't tell you right now. So I just want you to take that. And then <laughs> I'll tell you when I'm ready. And you guys go your separate ways and okay. I go and have dinner and stuff. That's I think that's awkward. And that's that's grounds for more um mental anguish just tell me would just tell me i want to know just tell yeah, me right 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 that. yeah yep yeah. it exactly i don't know i think all if you're an escort and you were an escort or something like that and you feel guilty about it all you have to do is forgive yourself if you feel like you need to easier said than done right right and move on i don't know maybe you don't even have to tell him that i don't know i'm just saying you forgive yourself. You know that is not who you were, are, who you wanted to be. You forgive yourself and you move on. And maybe you never tell that man. He never knows that you were once an escort. Because you are free from that. You are free from that past. You're moving forward. You don't have to go back and explain to, you know, Will I, will, and feel all of the shame and the judgment and all that kind of stuff move forward so what about protecting your spouse though or protecting your partner protect you're protecting your partner also by not saying I know, you're protecting yourself it's a small world maybe it was in a different city maybe it was this and that i don't know the exact situation but what if something comes out and this man finds out outside of his girl how was that gonna play yeah, out that's rough bro. in the relationship i know it's a street. what if but yeah Oof. Oof. you go yeah, to I a website or they find a video or it's something a video damn yeah damn somebody's that's video well yeah. then that's when that's what i guess that's what happens yeah are you rolling the dice i guess, I guess. either way that's you could tell him now and get dumped you could tell him five years from now and get dumped or somebody can be like hey is that your bitch? And then you'd be and like, then you get dumped. Then. Oh, it was too much shame. I just couldn't bring it up. I had moved on from that, and all that stuff is valid. But I just think it is. You must be used to me spending. Oh, that's sweet. You'd be like, hey, babe. <laughs> I think someone stole your pictures. Someone sent me a link to this profile by the name of Licorice. Who's Licorice? Like, you know what I mean? And, and this girl looked like just like you. It, it kind of looked like you look like your younger sister, but it looked like it could be you. Oh, but. that was a that was that was way in the past. Don't even pay that no mind. Don't pay him no mind. I had sex with him one time, and he took me to dinner. Like, there's ways you could really you buy me a steak. You would have to have scripts. multiple people come out and be like, "Hey, you know what? I don't think so." And it you know what? Have to be people, people that are paying for escorts, they probably want to keep that shit on the low themselves. Mm. So to have somebody walk up to you and be like, "Hey, but wait a minute, aren't you married?" It, you weren't you so everybody's tricking now so yeah and i mean really. 
you if you think about it, dudes that are paying for escorts, they're paying for discretion. So yeah, that makes sense. Exactly. So NDAs. Keep it to yourself. Don't ever tell him. No, I'm kidding. It's it's really up to her, but I'm saying you can tell him now. You cannot tell him. Forgive. But if you don't tell him, you have to forgive yourself and be able to let that go and not let that shit carry over into your relationship. And your dude's like, why are you this way, this way, this way, right? Let that shit go. Or tell him five years from now. I mean, or if you don't tell him, you just need to be prepared for the situation and the backlash if this nigga find out. Right. That's a tough way to live. That's pressure. Oh That's a very stressful way it to is. live. Like it I would not want to live that way. way. It tough. is. <laughs> That's very yeah. stressful. You might as well be on the run. Or Shit, me, okay, well the- then let's just settle it. Say it right now. Just be like, if you want to continue with me, I have to be honest with you. That's what I said. This Jess, is where I was. Like, no. Well, now I'm saying since all this, it, no, let's it, let's just say. I used to go to dinner and fuck after. Like, I understand it's both like, sides, though. I understand both sides. I do. I used to go to concerts and, th- and then fuck after. And I got paid for it. I used to get flued out. I used to, <laughs> I used to get flued out. Shit. Okay. Here's my thing, too, though. It's like, I, I, I personally, like, I have no knock on what people do for a living. Mm-mm. Like, you're going to do what you need to do to pay your Get it bills. how you live, man. Get it yeah, how you really, live. Do we really feel that way? Do we I really do. feel yes, that absolutely. way? Hey, listen. The I pretty don't last do. forever. And if you can use it and leverage it to the best of your ability and whatever, and you're okay with that and you can sleep at night, hey. Our escort. Wait a minute. Are escorts only pretty? Is that what we're saying here? I, I, listen, all I'm all I'm saying <laughs> get is it how you Jessica, live is what I'm saying. Is that yeah, all I'm saying is get it how you live, and as long as you can sleep at night and you do, and you don't feel any regret or gonna feel like you're gonna have any regret when it comes time for you to meet your maker and you good with what it is that you do, then do whatever it is that you do. Don't have let nobody else tell you what you together. can and cannot do. All right, I'm gonna do this for. Such and such years until I get to X, right? Um, and we, you know what is amount? It? Flip it and then go on to your next venture. Like right. the, it sounds like this young lady. This is what she did. I did the uh, services while I was going through. It don't even have to be hard times, but this but is all so I know. And this the, is how like I was, the same thing. Like it, they're hustling and scamming and shit. Just that's minus what I'm saying, the yeah. So and nobody's condemning them. I'm not opposed to it, but I'm saying the way the world is, though. Everybody ain't. Shit, everybody ain't as cool as me and ain't I got the same kind of views that I got. So, you know what I'm saying? I understand exactly what's going on. You get it how you can and you get to a place to to where you think you're comfortable and you can't do that your whole life, though. So, like I said, have the exit plan. But you got to own that and that owning that is, you know, you get into these different relationships, that's going to maybe eventually come up. Sometimes you can totally remove yourself from it and you move to another city. I know a lot of men and women Fuck, thinks, why don't you just tell this girl to put it on fucking Instagram and social media just to get it out there? A lot of men and I women an escort. think that moving from different cities that erases your numbers and all the stuff you've been through and you can start over and start fresh, yes, but at the same time, there's still a potential that these things come back to life. So all I'm saying is if you want to get ahead of it, just be like, okay, babe, this is what went down. And it was me and six guys every night for really 12 years. And now this is only for you. Okay. Hey, I believe we can look at it though. Wait, 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 wait. We can look at this glass half empty or glass half full. Okay. Because for all we know, she might be putting it on him and he's enjoying it so much. And she's gotten a lot of practice in. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You see what this escort is doing? Now is is satisfying this man in every which way he likes it. So Tiffany, Tiffany, uh, our our resident uh, sexologist said it, said it herself. That is your field research. So she's got a lot of field research. She's got a lot of field fine. research. And let's make it even because I don't want to make it seem like that we're bashing women that go through um, 
prostitution. There's men out here men, that are there's, there's whole, pretty much prostitutes. And it's it's or, or, the same or there thing. There is, but in a lot of situations, Gigolos, we're not gigolos. getting paid. Yeah. Or you could be a gigolo or whatever, whatever. But <laughs> again, a canon so song, funny. but I'm, I'm not going to sure. do that. But when it comes back to rear its ugly head, that's the term, right? And it catches people off guard usually the situation is worse and that's all i'm saying well, it depends like what if she is like a reformed right and she just lives this you know it makes it even worse she walks a different path like like her light just shines within or what if she's like that was in my past but she's still on ig like hey <laughs> and like posing and like bent over and like so there's that kind of past, right. and then there's that kind of past. I don't think it's a bad thing. Well, you have to. I think too. We have to keep in mind that past a lot is of the people, past. I'm not going to say most people, but but there's people that get into these lines of work because of just simple things of like attention and liking to get that attention. And now that she doesn't do that anymore, maybe there is those still parts of her that still like getting certain. A certain type of attention. We just you never know. Addicted to the know? life, right? I don't know. I thought this was a, a, a great topic. I thought it was a great email. I don't know if we really gave her an answer, but I think <laughs> Marcus and <laughs> I both agreed that she should tell him now. I think Jess, you finally came around. I straddled the fence, though, Kale. I kind of straddled the fence. There's many that. factors, yeah. so yeah. it depends on all of the factors that we talked about. Whether she should tell him now, tell him five years from now, or not tell him ever. Because I can guarantee there's stuff that You're the young man shit hasn't told anybody. her. But if they really want to become one and be equally yoked. You have to say that I used to. Not that's really. That's how I made my living. But it's a good conversation. Be and I believe if they can work through that, it will bring them closer. That's just me, though, being glass half full. If Why you could get through something like that. to her trauma or whatever. And then he may feel comfortable in... You know, start talking about some of his stuff that he been through, and they grow together. But well, well, here's the thing, Marcus. I don't think this dude's done anything as nearly as as interesting as this woman has. Because at the end of the day, we have to remember. Remember, we began of this email. This woman said she was with a man that was 17 years older than her when she was 20, who was pretty much pimping her. She learned the so game. So pretty early. much, she, she's not going to be like, knocking. oh, well, I was an escort. It's, I was getting pimped. Like I was getting fucking pimped by my ex boyfriend. And then I didn't get, stop getting pimped until I got out of that relationship, and I was still escorting then by myself. So that's it's a, it's pretty loaded. Well, like, maybe it's even very, more very of a reason loaded. to say it right off the bat because you were pimped, you were taken advantage of, you were yeah, misled, you, you were young, you were trapped, right. you were all those things. You got trauma. Right. Now you're trying to fix and yourself, that's another and you're doing reason something different. Also, to hold it. Because you don't, you know, you might not necessarily. Un you Maybe this man can help her through that, though. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe that's what he's here for. It, that's so what I'm take saying. A it could be yeah. something they work together through. Roll the they, dice. Yeah, it's tough, though. But these relationships is tough out there. Yeah, I mean, going through that kind of trauma and, and just holding that in and not addressing that. Like, you could. she sent us an email. Obviously, it's bothering her. So, like, she wants to clearly get it off her chest, but she just wants validation from somebody else. You send an email like that that long explaining all of that, you clearly want to get this off your chest because you don't like fucking carrying the shit around. I can appreciate but the courage. But you need someone else to validate it. I can appreciate yeah. the courage of yeah. this young lady. Right. Yeah, I, I appreciate, appreciate that, dude. That. Yeah, like, she, she just wants someone else to validate the shit. Right. So she'd be like, all right. And you I'm, came you know to the I mean? right clearly she ghetto therapy the place we got you, sis. over here. Right. I'm I not think. ghetto. Good shit. I'm sophisticated. I got no, glasses on. Ghetto therapy. Shit. <laughs> Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. My name is Kel. You can listen to us on your favorite podcasting platform. Catch the visual on YouTube by just searching Truly Unruly on the YouTubes. Uh, follow these guys on Instagram. And, of course, you can send all of your questions, comments uh, to our DMs at Truly Unruly on Instagram, or you can email us your questions to trulyunrulypodcast at gmail.com and catch us every Sunday on Converge. Word. Yeah. Boom. Till next time, y'all. Peace and much love.